Well, hello everyone. This is going to be part two of this latest uh, grab bag that I got. Swag bag, I heard somebody call it. I think that was Doc Docus uh, from my friend Elliot. Now we've got two more bags to show. If you watched my last Beatles Finds video, I showed the contents of one bag. We got two other ones. And today, Elliot also gave me two more bags. So I've got like four more bags to show. We'll see how long this is going to go on for as far as the videos. I'm going to probably do them over a series. So go back and watch the last one. And let's continue now with this bag here. And see what we got. First thing in here that I see is a poster. John Lennon Museum. And, uh, this is all stuff that Elliot doesn't want anymore. And he's cleaning his place out. And he's nice enough to give this stuff to me. Now, let's get to something pretty interesting. I saw this one. I mean, some of this stuff is, is, is going to be stuff that I haven't seen yet myself. Look at this. Photo of John Lennon with Harry Nielsen. And this is, I believe, from the March of Dimes. 1970. Is it 74? I mean, how great is that? How great is that shot? You know, I met Harry Nielsen at one of the Beatle Fests in 1982. I had him sign the Pussycats album, uh, a John produced of, of, of Harry's. This would have been great if I had this back then. The sign. And here's a picture of Bob Dylan. That's made it into this bag. So in addition to Beatles stuff, you're also going to see a lot of other stuff by other artists. This is something, looks like an old book, right? It's got the spiral. It's got the lyrics here from the song From a Lover to a Friend, Paul McCartney. And this is really nicely encased in plastic. Don't really want to open it, but I'm going to do it for the sake of the video. Anyway, there it is outside of the uh, sleeve draft marketing plan this is uh, for the driving rain album this is a marketing plan in stores November 13th 2001 the driving rain album I mean this is something that I haven't really ever heard of it's uh, talking about the, the plan for marketing this and putting it out album biography i mean stuff like this is a video all in itself uh advertising radio station websites new media well you get the idea this is a unique promotional piece and i'm sorry i had to take it out of the bag it's full of tape so i'll put it in a new bag that's pretty cool Okay, uh, next thing. Okay, now I have one of these. This is uh, an Egypt station. I think they call it a slick. You know, it actually advertises the album. I already have one. Now I have another. But also in this package are, well, this looks like one book. The Monkeys, Good Times. A great what you might call a comeback album. This is the cover. Good times. Album, uh, new album available now. Very good album. All Monkeys fans really liked it. This is a nice retro package, it seems. Dedicated to the Monkeys. So, yeah, I'm actually uh, taking some Beatles time here talk about the monkeys but this is really nice man that's this is terrific okay uh you never know what you're gonna find there's a Led Zeppelin three piece of artwork in there okay a garland for Linda 
I have two of these. And this again is uh, in aid of the Garland Appeal, a, uh, a gala charity uh, concert in aid of the Garland Appeal. Saturday, the 3rd of June, 2000, at 8 p.m., two years after we lost Linda. And this is uh, to go along with the event. And here is... music available for purchase sorry this is a little unorganized but that's part of the fun or should be anyway here's a book getting back to Beatles Yellow Submarine this is it looks like to coincide with the 1999 reissue uh, I'm guessing Really terrific. Okay. So that's really nice to go to my, with my Yellow Submarine collection. Okay, the bag is never ending. Well, here's a McCartney mug, a Driving USA Tour 2002, a tour mug. I've got uh, a lot of these mugs. And I'm, I'm starting quite the mug collection. Okay, here's a love uh, program. It's a little bent, you know. Uh, hey, you know, beggars can't be choosers. But uh, this is to go with the show, the love show. And I will attempt to restore this flat out a bit. Uh, I never saw the show. But uh, it's a nice piece of memorabilia from that. Okay. Uh, here's a book. Not just the Beatles. Uh, this is, uh, let's see, the story of how legendary impresario Sid Bernstein brought the Beatles to America and his association with the show business greats of our time as told to Arthur Aaron. So this is about uh, Sid Bernstein, the man responsible for the Beatles being brought to America, as the saying goes, the man who brought the Beatles to America. When we think of Shea Stadium, it's largely Sid's doing. Uh, Okay, very exciting this stuff. Here's a bag. Look at this Elvis. I got some Elvis stuff here. As much as I like Elvis, I think some Elvis people would like some of this stuff. I'm trying to find it in the right place to put this. Now this was interesting, folks. Get a load of this. Pete Best autograph. Okay. And now, I've never had the pleasure of meeting Pete Best, although I had a, a couple of opportunities. Uh, it didn't work out. I do have an autograph of Pete Best hanging up somewhere up there on an album cover that I bought from my record store. I've never gotten an autograph personally, but uh, that's his autograph. And this is really nice because it's on a, a picture of the, the early, early Beatles. So uh, it's terrific. And I asked Elliot about this, and, you know, he actually got to see Pete Best. You know, he was also friends, Elliot was, with uh, David Peel before uh, before he passed, obviously. And he used to hang out with David Peel and sometimes Pete Best a couple of times. So that's where this comes from. This is really a special item. Thanks, Elliot. Some more Pete stuff here. Uh, I don't know what this is. Uh, another charity, Paul McCartney charity. Now, some of the stuff I have here that, again, is for, I'll show it because even though I like Elvis, this is, I think somebody else might appreciate this, Graceland News, Elvis, and kind of a funny picture here, uh, I gotta say, in my opinion, <laughs> Elvis with a bicentennial, perhaps, hat on, uh, let's see, and look at this. Um, this is something I'd be willing to give to some fans. Uh, this is the Zombies. Uh, I like a few Zombies songs, but not enough that I don't really feel that um, I should have this. I think there are other fans that uh, 
probably would appreciate this a lot more. But uh, let's, you know, a lot of people already say, oh, I'll take this, I'll take that. Oh, can you give me an extra? You know, uh, <laughs> we'll see how we work it. You know, they're not going anywhere for a while. Uh, here's Paul McCartney. A change begins within benefit concert with Ringo Starr, Cheryl Crow, and others. Uh, this is April 4th, 2009. The David Lynch Foundation. for consciousness-based education and world peace. And Ringo is a, was a part of that. We got two. These are some video cassettes that were given to me. Um, I don't do video cassettes anymore, but this is stuff like uh, anthology. Uh, I guess the an anthology... Uh, extended version and also stuff like the silver Wilburys live at the palomino club i mean this stuff is stuff that i have on uh dvd but just to show you the contents there you're gonna find out what it is it's a ticket stub yoko ono uh plus special guest the tramps from 1997 so the Yoko Ono ticket snub. And I'm a little lost as to what this is. I'll show it to you anyway. Okay, you guys can help me out with that. Okay, Guide to the Beatles London. The book against the Abbey Road Studios. A lot of good photos in here I can see and I'm really not showing anybody I'm just looking at them myself <laughs> so what as good does that do good stuff you know folk <laughs> uh, we got more some Yoko Ono items touch me Y O Yoko Ono touch me 2008 this is a, uh, a gallery show in New York. Got a bunch of these. And uh, here's an Imagine, Imagine There's No Hunger. John Lennon, kind of, a, it's a pin, I believe. And you can see this consists of glasses and the Imagine and the words. Uh, I think there are going to be a lot of these kind of magnets. This is a mat refrigerator magnet. Paul McCartney, the Driving USA tour again. All right. And uh, that's it for this bag. Uh, I'm going to uh, go into this one now a little bit. This may be a lengthier video. I don't know the poster in here. Uh, now, this I have to ask about this because I really don't know who all these autographs are. There were autographs here. One of them says Danny on it. See that one there in the middle? Uh, I'm guessing it's Danny Harrison. But I don't know who everybody is here. And uh, it's funny, I spoke to Elliot. I didn't think to, uh, to ask him about this one, but he will tell us. Uh, the new number two. I don't know who they, who they all are. Now, not going to do us much good after the fact, after the video is over, but uh, I have to find that out. Now, in the last video, I showed a bunch of hats. We got more hats. Here's a Beatles love hat. Uh, this is one of those, what do you call these things? You know, the poker, when you play poker or cards or something. Uh, it's Paul McCartney. Freedom is a song. Okay, that's... Uh, Again, from that Driving Rain era. Uh, here's a, a record hat from the, the Colony Record Store. I found it at the Colony, the name of a, rec of a record store. Colony Records, I believe. And this is when you're looking for records. Uh, now, I know a lot of people will probably like this. You know, I, 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 it's a Beach Boys hat. Very nice hat, just that I'm not wild about the album. I've heard a lot of it. 
Brian Wilson presents Smile. And this is a nice hat. Um, I don't have any use for this, but I figured I'd show it. And, you know, somebody someday, somewhere, might get it. This is Paul McCartney, uh, Thriving USA Tour. Another hat. O2. Paul McCartney, Driving USA Tour. And again, folks, I mean, a lot of this stuff hasn't been used, perhaps, or has, but it's, what happens is it, this stuff does get dirty, you know, uh, and needs to be cleaned, some of it. Uh, there's a Ringo Starr and his all-star band. You know, another one that's kind of dirty. Needs to be fixing that. Uh, is one in better shape. Looks like Ringo and his all-star band. And on the back of this one, it says Tour 2000. He has drumsticks. He's a drumsticks and uh, American history made in USA, but uh, does have Ringo's trademark. Millennium 2 Promar. And you might be able to see Ringo's Ringo with the star down there. We're going to go start drumsticks. Here's a hat still with the tag on it. Rock and Roll Hall of Fame and Museum. Yeah, Elliot really was letting everything go. Uh, letting everything go. I've got a lot more to show just in this bag alone, but we're getting close to the 20-minute mark, folks, and I don't know how far I want to go with this. So what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to finish this bag off. I'm going to let it go. Uh, you know, there's just so much stuff here. I don't even know where to, where to begin. Uh, there's just magnets and things here. Um, well, there's a Beatles magnet. There's a Paul McCartney mag magnet. Uh, here's Let It Be. We're going to go pretty fast. We'll let this go when you can skip ahead or stop or continue tomorrow or whatever you want help. And, you know, I mean, all this stuff is, is great to see. These are all refrigerated magnets. Uh, and to have. But, you know, even I wonder what I'm going to do with all of these. I'm going to put them in the bag, just like Elliot has them in a bag. Probably put them in a the closet. Some of them I'll display. Like, this one is very cool. This is... The Driving Rain uh, or Driving USA Tour 2002. See, I like stuff like this, especially that promotes something. Okay. Uh, let me reach into the bag of tricks some more. Uh, here's a kind of a 3D type of Elvis. This is very cool. This is uh, Can't Buy Me Love. And you can't do that. Got a picture sleeve magnet. And these are all magnets still sealed. Love. Sgt. Pepper. Here's the Beatles, Liverpool, England. Here's the famous Apple. Here is the Love Show. On the bottom of this bag, we have I don't know what this is. Some of the stuff, I don't know what it is. This is something to do It says Ono Cord, Yoko Ono Cord, Miami Beach, Y.O. Yoko Ono, but I don't know what it is. Maybe Is it a, is it a... Alright, I know what it is. <laughs> Sorry, I don't want to blind anybody. Uh, and, you know, I found a lot of these, a lot of these Ringo keychains, you know, a lot of these tour, Ringo and his all-star band, uh, tour 2001, it looks like, you know. So th there's, there's a lot of these to go around. I mean, I don't want to, like, promise stuff I can't deliver on, but, you know, uh, I will try as I see people. Ringo Starr and his all-star band, yet another one. I mean, I like stuff like this, and they got two of them, so, you know. And I think that's going to knock it in the head for this particular bag, but uh, there were more bags, and 
really cool stuff um, besides this. So let's drink it in a little at a time and see you again soon. Watch this series of Beatles finds from Elliot's collection now given to me. Take care, folks.